So, last week we had a one year anniversary stream of the global version of Blue Archive, which was the first stream ever for the global version of the game. And in this stream, the developers have basically gone through everything we had in Blue Archive up to this point, and also what's about to come in the future. And there is one thing which we were told is going to happen, one little change, and this one little change has been bothering me a lot. So I decided to rant about this in a video. But first, let's talk about one good change that's coming to us. Till now, the odds of pulling a 3 star student were 2.5%. This means every time you decide to spend your 120 power cents on a pool, you have a 2.5% chance of it being a 3 star. Now, here comes the good change. The people on top decided to increase this 2.5% chance to a 3% chance of getting a 3 star student every time you attempt to pull for one. And this is a permanent change. Of course, it is not only for the global version. The JP version had this odds change implemented long ago, but it is definitely a welcome change. And nonetheless, now after we got the good things out of the way, let's get into the main topic of this video. The less good of a change implemented to the global version and only the global version, and that is the pick and banner time reduction. For those of you who don't know, pick and banner is where you recruit students, summon, pull, or however you wanna call it. In Blue Archive, like in many other games of this sort, there is always the default banner, which all students have the same odds of being pulled, and then there is the pick and banner, which is a new release student banner or a rerun with increased odds to get this specific student. Till now, those pick and banners had length of 2 weeks each. But in the one year anniversary stream, in addition to the odds increased announcement, they also announced that the length of each pick and banner will be shortened to one week only. Before I dive into the problems that this change brings, I will give the reason and explanation to why they are doing this to begin with. So as you know, the global version of Blue Archive has a goal of catching up to the Japanese version of the game. And since launch, it's been doing so, and in a pretty good pace actually. But they have decided that this pace isn't fast enough. And that is the reason for this change, to catch up faster to the Japanese version of Blue Archive. Now, on paper, it sounds good, right? We don't want to always be behind the Japanese players, and you don't actually need two weeks to pull for a student. But the problem is that you cut in half the time players have to earn paroxens, which are the blue gem fingies that you pull for students with. You cut the time in half to earn those, but you don't give any more ways to earn those in these time periods. So this simply means that players just won't have enough paroxens to pull for many important meta students, let alone their waifus. And I'm not even talking about sparking a student, and maybe even trying to 5 stars them, or leveling up their unique equipment. Players will be forced to spend money and a lot of it if they want to keep up with the pace, which might be another reason to why they are doing this. But I have to admit that I don't fully understand why they are doing this. We were going to catch up to the Japanese version regardless. So why are we in such a rush? Cause we will get there eventually. And pretty soon at this pace. But at what cost? When we do get there, the global players will be in a much worse position student-wise, materials-wise, and overall wealth in the game at the same point in the game timeline compared to a Japanese player. So this is all I had to say pretty much. These were my not very hot takes on these changes. You may agree with me and you may not, which is obviously fine. I'm open to any other views on the situation in the comments. And I will finish off with saying that I'm a bit worried for the foreseen future of Blue Archive with this change. But anyways, this is it for today. Another me talking video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.